Hey guys, I'm Josiah, and today I'm going to be talking about Alita Battle Angel. I just got back from watching it not very long ago, and man, this is a great movie. I I love this movie. It was so good. Alita is a fantastic character. She is really well done. At first, I wasn't quite sure how to feel about the movie when I fir when it first started um, rolling and stuff. It was pretty weird at first, <laughs> and you know, obviously she looks kind of weird, Alita does, with her big eyes and her fake skin, I guess, and stuff. But after I got used to her, I really fell into the world that they set up in this film. The world building was pretty solid throughout this movie as well, and I think I think they did a really good job with the world building. That definitely helped get me into this new story that I've never been a part of before. So that was really well done, and I'm... I'm, my only question is, how are there so many people in the future that end up with cybernetic limbs? I swear, like, every other person in this movie has some cybernetic limb. And it's like, do people just, like, suffer limb loss in the future or something? I'm not sure, but uh, I just thought that that was kind of weird how, how many people there were that had cybernetic limbs. I don't know. That was just something that just stuck out to me there are definitely some cheesy parts in this movie especially in the first half there are definitely some parts that kind of made me raise my eyebrows a little bit but the second half of the film is really solid both like emotionally and character wise and everything like they nailed the second half of the film and they they got it right definitely made up for the some of the cheesiness that was in the first half of the movie Alita is an incredible character, and Rosa Salazar, who played Alita, did a fantastic job with her. Her performance is really, really well done. Yeah, man, she does such a good job. Um, Alita has a great character arc throughout this movie. Seriously, it is fantastic, and I just love how it never felt forced. You know, you can kind of tell nowadays when they have a female character that they're trying to like, you know, force into stories to make work and kind of like, hey, look, we got a female character, a strong female character. Our movie's great, right? So no, Alita was well done. She was a very well written character and they did a great job with that. Kind of going into that as well. No, there's no identity politics in this movie, no political agendas. This movie is quite a ride because the action is so good throughout this entire movie and there's a lot of action in this movie but they still take moments to slow down focus on the characters and give you the character development that you need for characters like alita and some of the other characters as well um but they never they never cross into the line of identity politics in this entire movie and it was such a refreshment to experience in this movie it was just straight up just awesome characters that you can appreciate and enjoy and i was inspired by alita she, she is such a good character and i was just so inspired by her courage by her strength her bravery and i she, she was so good so if a white male like me can be inspired by alita <laughs> And she isn't the first female character that I've been inspired by. I, I love so many other female characters that have been throughout movies, but I'm just using her since she's kind of the, the new prime example, I guess. When you have a character who is different than you, but you are still inspired by them, that is how you know that character is well done. That is how you know that character is well written. If I can be inspired by a character like Alita, who is a female character, then anybody can be inspired by any character if the character is well done. And that just kind of debunks everything that Hollywood is trying to push on us right now. No identity, identity politics, this movie is free of all that, so such a refreshment and great supporting characters throughout this movie as well. And I loved how this movie felt like it was kind of like a superhero film. Like this film felt like it belonged in like, it felt like it was a Marvel type of film, you know? If it, it was very superhero-ish and stuff, but even though I know it's like based off of a, of a manga and stuff, um, it, it definitely had that vibe, and that's probably why I enjoyed it a lot as well. And I know that a lot of us are comic book movie fans, so I think that we will definitely appreciate this film as a collective as well. Um, some really solid emotional mo moments th throughout this movie as well. Some moments had me really choked up. Like, I... I may have shed 
a bit of a tear at some parts and it's, that's pretty hard for me to to do when I'm watching movies it's really hard for me to to actually get to that point emotionally but uh, this film got me there a couple times because Rosa Salazar just delivers such a powerful performance with Alita so with that being said I highly highly recommend this film I'm going to give Alita four and a half stars because this film deserves it this film deserves our support go see this film if you have time this weekend because it is well worth it and this film deserves our support way more than Captain Marvel does screw Captain Marvel go see Alita with that being said I hope you guys enjoy this review and I'll talk to you very soon in another video talk to you later bye